Welcome to the Java Programming Language course from Eduonix. In this topic, we will introduce the course and the requirements. The Java discussed in this course refers to Sun's hotspot implementation of the Java Virtual Machine by Oracle. There are minor differences between different implementations of the Java Virtual Machine. One widely used implementation, for instance, is OpenJDK. In this course, we always refer and reference everything to Oracle Java. This course provides an introduction to Java programming. It covers the basic features used to construct many different types of Java applications and in the final topic we review the different types commonly used by Java programmers, the different types of applications that they will build. The course is conceptual. At all times we emphasize the fundamental concepts of computer science and how they are implemented in the Java programming language. Also, we look at the basic design patterns used by experienced and successful Java programmers and we look at techniques for optimizing code when we implement these patterns. The requirements of the course are a familiarity with programming from some language it could be Java, JavaScript or C but it's expected that you are literate in the concepts of programming as respect to a language. Some prior experience in a language is assumed. The textbooks, we, do, we, have not, we have not chosen a textbook for the course, rather the focus is on online learning. In the documentation you will find this topic learnings links. The topic learning links document has links to learning resources that extend and complement the course. What you will learn will not be limited to but will include the following. To be able to analyze and explain the behavior of Java code where that code involves the basic fundamentals. To write Java code using the fundamental Java constructs including conditionals and iterative control structures. To design and implement your own Java classes for objects. To design and implement types with interfaces. Given any desired attributes and behaviors outlined that those objects must provide. To reason and make programming decisions about Java class hierarchies. To be able to write Java code that both correctly and efficiently uses system resources and also to write good Java code that correctly interacts with the runtime environment or the Java virtual machine. The topics for the course are clearly outlined in the syllabus with subtopics and they include the Java programming language, a high level introduction, Java language basics where we first go over the fundamentals, object oriented programming where we look at how to write objects with classes and interfaces, polymorphisms where we look at inheritance, reducing code complexity where we look at Java generics, exceptions where we look at error handling and exceptions processing, streams where we look at in-out behavior of data, concurrent code where we look at processes and threads, data structures where we look at Java's collection inbuilt Java types and how to create your own custom data structures and then finally we look at Java build tools, tools for packaging and deploying your Java applications and in particular we have a brief introduction to the different types of Java applications that you can construct with what you've learnt in the course and the build tools. Now let's look how we can use the freely available and downloadable Java integration development environment Eclipse to use the source code provided with the course. 
In the topic learning links document, in subtopic 10, Java Build Tools, there is the link to download and install instructions for Eclipse. Now, assuming I have Eclipse up and running on my box, I can then, to import the source code for any topic, go to File, then choose Import, then choose the Maven option, open the Maven tag, and choose existing Maven, Maven projects, and choose Next. Now I must browse to the correct directory where the source code exists. So on my box I go to where the documentation folder is and now I can choose one of the courses. I will choose Java Language Basics and when I open up it looks like this when I open up the folder. Then I choose OK and when I see this entry in the panel here and this must be selected I can click finish and it will import the source code. Now I can close I can close unwanted menus like so to make a bit of space and close a lot of these to make space clicking on little arrows so I'm making some space so there's plenty of room to see the source code. So here is the source code which I can then open. Now the documentation for each topic is in these MD files. These are standard IDE uh, documentation files that you can use in any development environment like Eclipse or NetBeans or IntelliJ. So if I want to view the contents I just click right click then open and it will open in a text editor. Or I can right click and choose open with and I can use for instance the system editor that will open in the text editor for the machine I'm running on or I can choose right click open with text editor and it opens in Eclipse.